Hello everyone, it is Lisa from Grateful Me and we will be doing our mini savings challenges. It is Wednesday and I want to show you this really cool $20 bill. So I got some money for my birthday and I decided that, <coughs> excuse me, I was going to spend some of it and then I was going to use some of it for my savings challenges. This $20 bill is an old bill. Look at the difference. So it just made me smile and I knew I wanted to save it. So I'm going to stuff it into one of my savings challenges. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure what's going on here. All right. We are going to count this money and we're just going to fly by the seat of our pants. So who knows what will happen in this video. There's 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1. 121 dollars. So let's get started. Let's pull out the good vibe challenge because everybody needs some good vibes. So far there's 55 dollars in here. I'm going to add 15 to this challenge and I'm going to take 5 out. So now there's a total of 70 and I need to color in some hearts. Well, I had the best birthday week and I just want to thank everyone who supported our Etsy shop and got my free birthday savings challenge. That just made me smile and I just appreciate it. Plus, it is the cutest challenge ever. My daughter-in-law Melanie made it for me for my birthday and she made it for all of you so that you could go ahead and help celebrate with me. So now the rest of the week it is back to daily life, back to reality, but however during my birthday week I took really good care of myself. I did all the things that I wanted to do, all the things that I love. I spent my days with people that I love and I decided that that is the way to live. So going forward, I'm going to try to be more like that each and every week. All right, vacation savings challenge. This one was supposed to go to my 100 envelope challenge, which I am happy to say is completed. So now we'll just keep filling this up and we'll start planning for another vacation. I mean... Can you ever have too many vacations going on in your life? Oh shoot, I just broke that. Let me grab another green colored pencil here and finish coloring this in. So I'm going to add that $5. Actually, I can make change. So I'm going to put 20 in and I'm going to take 15 out. So let's see here. Let's take the 15 out. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now this challenge should have a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 dollars. Let's move right along to my, oh my, did I stuff that in the wrong thing? I did, oh my goodness, wrong envelope. Okay, let's put it in the right envelope. There we go, it's all situated. Let's move on to our 50 envelope savings challenge. This particular challenge, this part of it is number 1 to 25. And so let's do, let's do number 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's do number 6. And should we do, how many more ones do I have? Ooh, I only have one. So why don't we do number, is 11 done already? Nope, number 11's not done. So let's do number 11. Wow, that's awesome. So we did four, we did six, and 11. So we're gonna add a total today of 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 dollars. Not too shabby. All right, I'll add that to that. And let's go ahead and do our back to school. Back to school, each of the icons is worth $10. And you guys know that school is not that far away. Gosh darn it. 
I feel like I need to add at least 20 today. And so let's color five, 10, 50, and let's color four of these. So I'm gonna color this book. I love to read. I love that part about school. In fact, when I was young, I was one of those strange people that loved to do their homework. And when I was little, I used to play school all the time and I would make my brothers play with me and they would hate it. But that's okay because you know what? My brothers, they did some crazy things to me when I was little in the sense of they used to pull my Barbie's heads off. <laughs> They used to eat all my candy. They used to do lots of things, but that is just brothers. All right, let me count this now. This challenge has 20, 30, 40, 60, and $80. Oh boy, I need to add like $100 to this one day to even get halfway there. All right, moving on to our summer challenge. This summer challenge is going to go towards an extra mortgage payment or an extra principal payment. It won't be a full mortgage payment, but I'll put a hundred extra dollars on my principal and I'm gonna put five in this one. This challenge, I just need to have it completed by the end of August because to me that is the end of summer and then we start hitting into fall. Well, let's go ahead and count and see how much money's here. So there's 20, 40, 45, and $50. Halfway, which is not too bad. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six more spots. So this, that will be completed super easy and in time for the new season. All right, my little birdie challenge. I think on this one I'm gonna add, should I add 10 or should I add 20? Let's add, you know what, let's add 15. Let's take one, two, three, four, five out and put a 20 in. So now this challenge has 40 and I need to color in this 10 and, the, and a five. Alrighty, get this all colored in. How many of you have already been on your summer vacation? Or how many of you decided to have a staycation where you stay at home and just kind of do local things? Or how many of you are, you know, it's your off year and you're not gonna go on a vacation at all? You know, all those things are just fine. My family, we are so big that we are trying to get better about doing vacations and we can't wait for ours coming up. So let me organize all this money and let's count it out. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait a minute, that's my extra money. I'm losing it. There's $40. You guys just have to laugh at me. Every time I do a video, I just show you how scatterbrained I am. I am the perfect proof that if, <laughs> If I can do this, anybody can do it. So there you go. If you've been wanting to start and you haven't yet, you need to because any anybody can do savings challenges, especially when they're small ones and they're simple and you know, a little bit here and a little bit there will add up. Like this one, every smiley face I color in, it's $10. At the end, I have 320, which is super good. So I'm adding the 10 and this one will have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and $30. And I need to color in this smiley face. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, moving on to my sunflower mini savings challenge. This challenge is from Magnolia Budgets. And she sent it to me because she knew I, how much I love sunflowers. And it just brings me joy every time I get to color a spot in it. So I'm going to add, oh, let's add five. And I need to find a yellow here in my colored pencils. And each five spot is a yellow. So we'll just do this leaf right here. And speaking of sunflowers, I have a ton of sunflowers popping up in my flower beds. 
and they are just getting so tall. They're taller than me and they're so vibrant and beautiful. The challenge so far has five, 10, and 15. When you're done with this challenge, it is $90, which is a good little amount to stuff into one of my sinking funds when it's completed. Well, you guys all know that on my Etsy shop, I have savings challenges for adults and teens and kids. And this is one of my kids' mini superhero challenges. Um, I've challenged myself personally to do every challenge that's in my shop. It's going to take me a long time, but that's okay. And this one is my super savings challenge. And so super savings is going to get $5.00. And these, this is perfect for little kids to earn money, you know, do some chores around the house, do something for mom and dad or grandma and grandpa. And when they're done, they will have saved $20, which for a little kid is a lot of money. Okay, my camera stopped. I have no idea how much of that of my uh, video was filmed. So let's hope, keep our fingers crossed that everything turns out well. So we're gonna add $5 to this challenge, and like I said, this is perfect for little kids. It helps them to achieve a good relationship with saving money. That saving money can be fun, and also spending money can be fun. So we're gonna just color in these two spots, the three and two, which equals five, and I will go ahead and keep at it until I've earned my $20. Now what will I use my $20 for? Well, I'm going to put it in one of my sinking fund envelopes and I can't wait to do that when this is complete. I have a whole stack here of challenges that I need to get to and I'm so excited about, especially, oh, this is so cute. There's a new donut mini savings challenge. There's also new Christmas ones up on the shop. You name it, I kind of think we have it. So, there is 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 dollars left. Let's go back and revisit back to school because like I said, I need to beat this up. I probably started it too late. But we're going to give it our best shot and get it taken care of. So, how much did I say was here? Oh my gosh, 20, 20 dollars. So there's, this icon's 5. This one's 10, this one's 15, and then let's do this one, and that will be 20, but I need to make the racer a pink color on the end. There we go. All right, let's count this one now. Okay, all these fives, hopefully they're going the right way. 20, 40, 60. 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. 100 out of the $320 is in this challenge now. Well, you guys, I gotta tell you, on Friday, I'm really excited because we're going to do our month ahead binder. And I completed a challenge, if you remember right, my July savings challenge. I'm going to use that money and some additional money to go ahead and stuff my sinking funds and it should be really fun. I'm going to be doing my pink binder and my month ahead binder. Well, I hope you all join me for this short little video. I love spending time with you. I hope you find daily great things to be grateful for. And I can't wait on Friday. Also, I'm going to share with you the hashtag BCL from the different... Um, the different budgeting channels in the budgeting community. I'm going to share some new um, links to some new YouTube videos and new channels. Well, everyone, I appreciate you being with me. And if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Until next time, bye.